How's it going guys? I'm Hanno Parker. Welcome to another episode from Nuji Bush Goods YouTube channel. It's not everyone's cup of tea. It's absolutely bucketing down the last couple of days. Not too bad at the moment. I've got the wet weather gear on, got the ski pants on. I'll probably get too hot if anything. Anyway, I'm going down to my local stream. I'm gonna drown some worms. Like I said, not everyone's cup of tea, but you know, you gotta fish to the conditions. That's what I'm doing today. There's a feeding period starting in about half an hour. Wish me luck. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, sub if you're not subbed already. Drop some comments down below. Encourages people to view and like my channel. Cheers. We've got a nice little eddy here. I know there's a snag over there somewhere. So I'm just going to go for this little whirlpool here. That'll do. Just in there. Down on the rod holder. And we'll rig the other one up. Well, it's already rigged up, but get a worm on it. And I'll show you where I'm gonna put the other one. So here's my other bait rod. It's got a slightly bigger sinker on it. Probably twice the weight of the other one. I'm gonna target that current line, but I don't want it in there because it'll just drag it up and drag it to the surface. So I just want it right on the current line, in between the eddy and the current line. And get this where I want it. Perfect. So they're only a couple of meters apart. Oh, the other rod's on already. Well, or it might be on. Got a really good bite. I've got a slightly bigger hook on this one over here, but we just got a really good bite. Shift it over a bit. I'll just have a bit of a check of it. Nah. I should have changed the hook on that. It's a size four hook. But as you can see, it got absolutely smashed. We'll put that back out there and see how we go. I've literally been here for all of about two minutes. Should have changed that hook. I probably will if it doesn't hook up in a minute. Since that first initial bite, I've had nothing. So I'm gonna try this hole with this rod. See how that goes. You never know if you give it a go. Unless you give it a go, I should say. Got a little bit more current in there, but this is the heavier sinker. So fingers crossed. See how she goes. A crayfish or is that a fish? Feeling like a crayfish maybe. Yeah, crayfish. Not a bad sized crayfish. It's actually a pretty good sized crayfish. I just saw the line moving. See if I can just net him. I haven't got my gum boots today, I might have mentioned that. He's a ripper sized crayfish. He might have been what we got before on. Usually if there's a crayfish like that in there, I'll move on. And she's not letting go of the net or he or she. So that's gonna put he or she down here and just return it to the water. Not a bad size, what about that half a kilo or something, definitely about a pound. Finally got one, looks like he swallowed it, little rainbow. Quite well. We've had the worst luck today. Not a bad little rainbow. Just quickly wet my hands. Cut the line, put him back. Hope to get another one. One crayfish at a rainbow. Nice little fish. Just come back for the release. See you, mate. 
Catch you, buddy. <clears throat> oh, shit. This is a good fish. Oh, it feels good anyway. Oh, yeah, it's not bad. Not, maybe another rainbow. Oh. Whatever it is, it's fighting good. Oh, no, it's a brown. It's a good brown. Look at this river. Just wet my hand. Probably not going to be able to see very well. Your luck's starting to change. Hopefully. He's starting to get the jaw on him. I won't try and get the hook out. What a beautiful brown trout. Oh, see ya mate. Oh, nice. Come on, fishy. What a tough day, but cheers. Don't know how well you've seen this, probably not seeing it at all, but um, obviously it's a nice little eddy down here. We can see all the flow going hard on that side, hard in the middle. So the only way the fish are gonna come upstream at this point is they're gonna come up this slow point. So it's 25 past seven. I'm gonna give it till dark and you just never know. I might even uh, get me net ready because I've I've known, and I've known other people, to get some ripper fish out of this hole. Oh shit. I don't care about the bells. Oh, that's a good fish. There go the bells. Oh, it's not that good a fish, but he's fighting hard. Can't see him. There he is. There he is. Oh, he's just a pan size. <clears throat> nice. <clears throat> no, he's good. I'll just just quickly go back down and wet my hand. So I might just cut the line and then wet the hand. Uh, just wet my hand in the net. <clears throat> See you mate. So finally fish number two, it's nearly on dark so I'm gonna do my outro. We may catch something else, we'll see what happens. But uh, it was really tough today. Sometimes I think I'll just come down, drown some worms, and I'll get half a dozen. Doesn't always work that way. But yeah, the last fish was around that 30 centimeters, high 20s. And yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Like I said at the start of the video, it's not my favorite thing either to drown worms, but you gotta fish to the conditions. Anyway, I'm Hanno Parker. This is another uh, Energy Bush Goods video. Yeah.